There's a new energy in downtown Syracuse. Old buildings being restored, apartments renting as soon as they're ready, new businesses and restaurants. And it's been a long time coming. Tonight, Carrie Lazarus takes us back in time to Syracuse that many people fondly remember and the extraordinary place that's taking them back there. We're on South Salina Street in downtown Syracuse. Can you remember when there were a dozen department stores on this street? That was the old Day Brothers. It's now an apartment building. There was Sibley's and Flaws and McCrory's and Grant's and many more. Well, tonight we are going to go strolling down South Salina Street to the heyday of this downtown avenue. They were the glory years, 1940 to 1980, when people would dress up to go downtown. There was world-class shopping and entertainment. Edwards Department Store even had a monorail. One of my favorite things in the exhibit is this fake bear skin coat. The Onondaga Historical Association is walking us down memory lane with this new exhibit. The museum asked people to donate items purchased in one of the many downtown stores. This gown from Flaws was worn to President Eisenhower's second inauguration. This fantastic smoking jacket. This is from the 1950s, sort of the, the high point of that madman culture. Retire to your library, get your scotch, get your cigar. There are movie posters and programs, banners and boxes, Christmas catalogs, and spring and summer fashions. The famed Brannock device and the shoe store by the same name. There are dozens of photos of the crowds that came to the theaters, restaurants, and stores that line Salina Street. Witherall's, Wilson's, Grant's, and Day Brothers. It's right here on the corner. Becky Young used to shop at Day's. Now she lives there. If I look out the building, and I look this way onto Salina Street, I see the Landmark Theater still there. And then I see where Wilson's Jewelers used to be, where Addis, mm -hmm. you know, right. and they're all being built up too. So the old Woolworths building. The old Woolworths yeah. building, which they put up in the 30s, so it's got a really nice Art Deco facade. Yeah. Once you've seen the exhibit, it's fun to stroll down Salina Street. The old stores may be gone, but some of the stunning architecture still stands. And there are signs of new life everywhere. I think if you had done this exhibit 10 years ago, it might have just felt sad what used to be in Syracuse. But somehow, there is a new sense of hope for where we're standing right now. Yeah, it, there is, and that's really great. I mean, we see across the street from us, there are guys working on these new lofts. There's activity, there's vibrancy. One of the things that you'll see in the pictures of the exhibit, 10 people deep on the sidewalk, cars everywhere, gridlock traffic in downtown Syracuse. And yeah, so there is, there's a sense of life here, of vivaciousness to downtown that was then, and we're getting back there now. So it's really, I think, a wonderful sort of capstone to it. From South Salina Street, Carrie Lazarus, News Channel 9. Oh, Jeff, I have a lot of great memories. When, yeah. when we were kids, we did all our back-to-school school shopping yeah. in downtown Syracuse. We'd take a bus down James Street, we'd shop all day downtown, and then we'd end our trip with a trip to the Caramel Corn store ah, for a little yes. treat. Yes, and boy, you could smell that as you were walking <laughs> down the street, right? A lot of great memories. Yeah, my thing was the bridges. I always loved the bridges from one thing yeah. to another. As a little yeah. kid, I thought that was so cool. It was so cool. Yeah, was Good memories. Time. It was fun to look back. <laughs>